have a lot of memories from the, the Brisbane Lions three-peat era. I was a massive Port supporter growing up, so uh, they were always beating us, winning grand finals when Port were finishing top of the ladder. I don't really like Port anymore, so sorry, Ken. I remember what a powerful team they were. That it was like, uh, you know, 22 Sherman tanks when you played against them, and they just played this pretty brutal style of football that was very direct. Arguably the greatest team of all time to come together and play football. Being a young fan, coming to the games, I think just probably the atmosphere and the buzz that it created around the city, and you couldn't really get a seat. You had to book well in advance to get a seat back in those days. We grew up as Essendon supporters, so um, I guess they uh, knocked uh, the Bombers off in one of those grand finals. So my dad didn't really like the Lions as I was growing up, and I was kind of taught not to like them either. Coming from Western Australia, uh, you'd prefer anyone but a Victorian team to win the grand finals and whatnot. Brisbane have won the Premiership. Regardless of the situation they found themselves in, you could always tell they believed that they could still win the game. They were an awesome unit, and it's no wonder they won three in a row. Oh, Skills, silky by black. Simon Black was probably the classiest player in the comp at the time and loved watching the way he went about it in traffic and admired his midfield play. I certainly remember the Blackie's Norm Smith game. Absolutely amazing. One of the most brilliant individual efforts I reckon I've ever seen. Obviously, the Vossi and Scotty Burns incident. His kick's pretty ordinary to fight for. Oh. Burns lines it up and goes bang. I love the footage of uh, Michael Voss getting laid out by Scotty Burns and then getting up and um, banging up in his grill. 50 metres out, beautiful pick up by Voss to Black, should have a shot! Great play, Brisbane! The way he responded after that was what a leader's all about, I think, and yeah, it sort of just felt like after that they were never going to lose that game. Left foot snap, Akamanis has kicked a goal! I think he's got a better left foot than me, even though I like my left foot snaps, but it's an honour if people say that they want to play like him. He's got a brown and I don't, so, and he's got three premiers. You know, I've read Lee's book, and uh, all that happened while he was at the Lions, you know, we still catch up on a regular basis. Um, probably when the footy season starts, it'll be at least every second week. He can be brutally honest sometimes about performance, but I, but I like that. I think you'll, you'll learn from people like him, and, and I welcome that. We've got pieces of little memorabilia written up all over the club as well, so we get to go past during our day-to-day -day and see that. A few cups laying around the place as well. So it's just a little click and remind to, to see what we're working towards. Because the club has probably struggled for the last 10 to 15 years, the joy for me would be to see guys like Zorko and Daniel Rich who have been here in the tough times, um, to uh, hold that cup up would be absolutely brilliant. Lucky that I was able to play with a lot of those guys who were part of that successful era. Yeah, to hopefully one day hold up that cup would be an absolute dream come true.